Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday in the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. O God, be gracious and bless us. Let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the peoples praise You, O God. Let all the peoples praise You. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the nations be glad and exult, for You rule the world with justice. With fairness, You rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us His blessing, till the ends of the earth revere Him. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Please be seated. You alone I have grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is God. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast. For an obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense. But if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know? that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins in but only one wins the prize. Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown. But we are an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as I 
as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it. For fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men who strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. For a son and a shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good things for those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please stand. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But then when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splendor in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own. How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When we were in high school, we have the chance to visit yung isang school for the blind. Doon po yun sa Davao City. So doon sa school na yun, nakita namin kung paano sila mag-aral. At yun sa room kung saan ako napunta, nakita ko kung paano sila magbasa sa mga hindi pa po nakakita kung paano po magbasa yung mga hindi po nakakakita, meron po silang parang typewriter, tapos parang may mga pantusok doon, at yung mga nakatusok doon, yun po yung hinahawakan nila, at yun po nababasa nila. At yung nababasa nila doon, pwede po nilang sabihin ng malakas. Kung first time nyo po makakita ng ganun, nakaka-amaze po. Then, what follows, may isang bulag ang sabi niya, ihi daw muna siya. 
sumagot yung teacher, oo. Tapos tumayo siya, diretsyong labas sa pinto, papunta dun sa may dulo ng koridor, nandun yung CR nila. Sinilip ko. Parang hindi naman mga bulag ito. Sabi ng teacher, hindi po bulag yung mga yun. Kaso sanay na po. Alam na po nila yung environment. Then, ilang oras pa yung nakaraan, may nakita akong isang basketball ring. Sino po ang naglalaro ng basketball? Sila din po. At ako'y nasimulang ma-amaze sa mga pangyayari. Paano po? How is it possible, bulag? Kayang-kaya po nilang maglaro ng basketball. Hanggang sa after lunch time, eh, we, were, we are high school. So, nandiyon na yung mga kakulitan. So, nagpapahula kami sa kanila kung sino yung good-looking at sino yung pangit. So, they have their own way of uh, touching your face, no? Para makilala kung para sa kanila, you are good-looking or hindi. Pero yung target talaga namin nun, may isang tao lang kaming, may isang kaklase lang kaming gusto namin masabihan ng pangit. Kasi kung masabihan siya ng pangit, that could be the greatest laugh on that day. So, pila na kami. So, yung bulag na kung saan kami nakapila, generous enough, good looking, good looking, good looking. Pagdating sa kanya, nakasmile lang yung bulag. Wala siyang sinabing hindi maganda. At the end of the day, pagbalik po namin sa bus, naalala ko lahat kami nakasmile. Nakatitig pa rin sa kanila sa baba. At sila naman parang may mga mata na hinihintay yung pag-alis namin. Ano po yung tinuturo doon? Kung gaano po kaganda ang mundo, kung gaano po kaayos yung mga kausap natin, at regardless kung pangit po ang environment natin, depende po yun sa puso, hindi po sa nakikita. Kahit marami kang problema, kahit hindi mo gusto yung kausap mo, o kahit sawang-sawa ka na sa buhay, kung tatanawin ka, maganda pong mabuhay, talaga pong nakadepende po talaga sa puso natin yon. Kung anong gusto natin makita sa pamamagitan ng ating mga puso. Nawa po, it is a challenge sa ating mga may malinaw ang paningin na makita natin yung kagandahan ng mundo. Nang sa gayon, wag po natin hintayin na mismong yung mga bulag, yun pa yung magturo sa atin kung gano kaganda, kasaya, mabuhay sa mundo. Magsitayo po tayo. By His word, words and works, Jesus taught us the forgiving mercy of God which seeks to save and not to condemn. May we follow His example as we pray to the Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That honest and lowly citizens may not be misled by false and ambitious leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may refrain from passing judgments on or condemning other or condemning other people on account of their weaknesses and shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may obtain mercy before the judgment seat of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, open the eyes of all people who have lost their way in life. By your grace, lead us back to you who loves everyone. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in the mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord has come, come to his people and, and set them free. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, 
through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Rosary of Manawa, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters of for Masses Aria and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawakminerbasilica.org for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continual support. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa pag -awi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakilabas po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.